Now let's take a look. How do you get the internal power to the leg movements, the lower body movements? In order to get the power from the abdominal muscle, the back muscle, to the leg movements, you have to go through the pelvis. So the pelvis has to be the integral part of the movements so that it can transmit the power through. For example, if you lift the leg, you lift with the abdominal, the back muscle, lift the pelvis, lift. Come down, again, the pelvis, your abdominal muscle and the, the the back pushes the pelvis down, which in turn pushes the foot leg down. The most important application of this principle certainly is taking a step in Tai Chi. Normally, when you take a step, it's like this. But in the Tai Chi, the taking a step as you follow the strict, the principle I have just described. You want to also follow me to try this. First, you slightly bend your knee, shift your weight over to one foot. Now lift with the abdominal muscle, the back, lift the pelvis. And we know the leg bone attached to the pelvis bone, so the leg comes up. And in this time, at this time, the leg is kind of relaxed because you are not using this muscle to lift the leg. You are using this part to lift the pelvis, and which in turn lifts the leg. You step out. Your pelvis going down, you step out. Then drop your toe to, or put your foot flat on the ground. Also, you don't want to do like this. You want to push, use this, push down the pelvis further, and push the toe down. So now your foot is flat on the ground. Now you pull your body forward. So that's a step in the Taiji form. I want to do sideways so to let you see the movement from the sideways. I'll get my hand away so you can see this part of the body. Bend your knee, shift the weight over, lift, lift. You see the movement here? Lift, step out, drop the toe. So the further stretch downward. Because these movements are really the movement of the pelvis, so actually your body stay put to the move. If you don't stretch the pelvis, to accommodate all this movement, then you will step forward and body go forward when you drop the toe. Make sure when you step forward, all your body weight 
is on the back foot and body weight not moving at all. Until the foot is flat on the ground, then this leg pull you forward. Going backwards. Also lift. Lift. Jeff, you want to try this? Forward. Two feet parallel. Yeah. In, and about the shoulder width when you do it, okay? In, in the Taiji, we want the two feet parallel, not like this. Okay. So you bend slightly, shift the weight over to one side, lift this foot, lift, yeah, okay, <laughs> right, okay, you get, yes, you see, once you start trying, you, you get the hang of it, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's a little awkward at first. Try not to bend your body, keep your body straight. You, you step out, no, body don't go, go forward, yeah, you step out by you step out, drop this, yeah. Drop the toe by fully pushing down the pelvis. Do not bend your body. You really have to stretch the pelvis down yeah. in order to drop the toe, isn't it? You, you really have to stretch down. But not when you practice. Don't stretch it forward. Some of the people We'll stretch it forward. No, don't go forward. Just stretch down. Yeah. And this does take practice. Some of the people, I think, is very flexible at the pelvis. Some are not. If you're not, then you have to really practice. Then this part becomes much more flexible. But uh, yes, OK, your lifting is good. Oh, good. That move is good. Now drop the toe, make sure you do the same thing. Pretty good. You are slightly go forward, but you can feel your, your body go forward a little bit. Yeah, huh? yeah. But that, you are lifting and the first down is good already. It's just drop the toe. You still, because you are at the limit of your stretching in the pelvis, mm -hmm. the, the dropping the toe, that part, you, you need to practice yeah. in order to yeah. It does yeah. increase the flexibility so your pelvis can go down and yeah. forward. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think you want to practice this. Um, it is also very healthful because you are moving this part of the uh, also a portion of the body, all these organs, intestines right over here. So this kind of movement really stimulates all the, these organs inside. A very good exercise for you. And you get your pelvis all flexible. The reason the Taiji wants to take a step like this is because if you don't, if you take a step like a normal person, let me do sideways, maybe show better. If you take a step like what a normal person do, for a fraction of a second, you lost control of your body. You're falling forward. You see, the gravity gets hold of you. Gravity gets hold of you falling forward. At that moment, if you got hit, you'll be gone. You're not stable. You're not under control of your body. You're falling forward. So 
The Tai Chi step keeps control of your body at all the time. There's no out of control moments. The second thing is, we said every step like this, you use the internal power, abdominal and back, to initiate the step, right? So we are doing it very slowly. But if we do it quick, you can see that this is a powerful strike. Because now, the power from your abdominal and back zoom through the foot. So an ordinary step becomes a weapon in martial art application. So for these reasons, the Taiji step is like this.